For those of you who know, um, we started at the University of Denver in 2007 with high school students. And we, and then we'll talk about this a little bit more, but we were able now, we're, now that we're on our own, we can serve, continue to serve high school students, but now we have a program for college students, young professionals, adults, which we started two trips this summer already, and businesses. And businesses is going to be a huge way for the U.S. to improve its relationship with the Middle East. I was born to Palestinian immigrants and I'm a first generation Arab American. And there's nothing more that I take pride in than my background. However, I've been thrusted into two different worlds and have been taught to walk a very fine line between my ancient culture and a new world. But over the years, it's become more and more apparent that not only was I walking a fine line, but I was representing a culture and a religion that was basically misunderstood by a majority of the world. I'm only glad that I did it. And you know, it, it turned out to be great. It changed my life, it changed the way I think about the whole Arab culture and, 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 and Islam too. And it, it, it has just been great that, you know, I went there and learned a lot. Um, and those stereotypical jokes don't make me laugh anymore. Uh, we like to take people to homes when we can. This happens to be the, the Joda home in uh, Ramallah, and this is Iman and Sina, the mother, um, just to show the bounty of the how people have lived off the land, the lemons and the almonds, the almond trees and uh, the olive trees. So I would say that uh, the trip and working with this program, working with the students, um, changed me personally and professionally in all aspects of my life. It changed the way that I view um, interacting with all different kinds of people and the way that I um, live in the U.S. and um, just really changed the way that I communicate with other people uh, in general. And so it's transforming, I would say. When I tell people I'm from Palestine, they usually say, oh, you're from Pakistan? <laughs> Have you ever been there? <laughs> or they say, you go there with all the crazies? As a matter of fact, I distinctly remember having a conversation with a classmate of mine who knew I was Muslim and began his question with, what would the rabbi of your church say? <laughs> <laughs> well, while we're able to look back and jest at his comments, I think his comments were and still are indicative of what many are simply unaware of, the other. And sometimes the other can be scary. The point is, I could easily stand before you today and tell you countless tragic stories from Palestine that fuel my motivation to do this work. Only once we educate the West about the Middle East and the Middle East about the West will we be able to create and set the stage for a rebirth of a true and pure peace.